of a sensitive Israeli position in the occupied Golan Heights. This is a second drone video released by Hezbollah showcasing its ability to infiltrate airspace over Israeli positions and highlight potential targets. Intelligence bases, military camps and command headquarters are some of the locations pointed out. Hezbollah has hit the Israeli occupied Golan Heights before, but the message here is to show its ability and send a warning to Israel. The conflict has largely been confined to Lebanon's southern border. However, Israel has carried out assassinations deep inside Lebanon of high-ranking Hezbollah members. Its most recent drone attack killed two people in Syria near the Lebanese border. One member of Hezbollah, a former bodyguard of its leader, Hassan Nasrallah. Hezbollah fired a barrage of 30 rockets at the occupied Golan Heights. It says was a response to the assassinations. Two Israelis have been killed. Hezbollah is sending another message that is uh, a warning if the war doesn't stop on Gaza and it seems that is not going anywhere where Netanyahu is constantly changing his mind about the negotiation and then returning to his conditions. Hezbollah is saying, well, I might do something much more than sending a daily warning. Hezbollah has said its fighting is linked to Israel's war on Gaza. Hamza Mohammed, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera. Hezbollah's sophisticated surveillance tactics have once again challenged Israel's high-tech security. The Lebanese militant group recently unveiled a new video, part of their Hupo series, showing aerial reconnaissance footage of sensitive Israeli military installations in the occupied Syrian Golan Heights. The 10-minute video, released on Tuesday, highlights six strategic locations including intelligence and command centers, which are crucial to Israel's espionage, guidance, long-range monitoring, and electronic warfare operations. Among the targets identified are Iron Dome platforms and other vital military and intelligence sites. This latest footage follows the release of similar reconnaissance material from Haifa over a month ago, which had already caused significant concern among Israeli military leadership. The new episode has intensified fears within Israel as military experts and media reports acknowledge Hezbollah's growing capability to conduct such operations. Israeli media have reported that Hezbollah published coordinates of military bases targeted over the past nine months, further highlighting the group's advanced reconnaissance and strike capabilities. In response to Israeli airstrikes that have killed senior commanders, Hezbollah has reverted to using low-tech communication methods, including coded messages, landline phones and pages, to evade detection by Israeli surveillance. Meanwhile, Hezbollah continues to deploy its drone technology to gather intelligence and attack Israeli targets. Hezbollah's leader, Sayed Hassan Nasrallah, has described these tactics as a strategy of blinding Israel's surveillance capabilities. This escalation in surveillance and counter-surveillance activities comes amid ongoing skirmishes between Hezbollah and Israel. These confrontations have intensified since October, when Hamas, a Palestinian ally of Hezbollah, initiated conflict with Israel. Although fighting along Lebanon's southern border has been relatively contained, the frequency of attacks has raised concerns about the potential for a broader conflict.